Errol came to me, he's from St. Vincent. Errol came and he said, I died. Errol couldn't breathe. Errol could not breathe. Errol was dying. His pressure was high. His eyes were bulging. Three months later, Errol didn't need anything for three months. Errol didn't need anything for six months. Errol's wife called me and said, if you don't stop giving that man what you're giving him, I'll kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. She was complaining about his impotence. Now she's complaining he's having sex with everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> Errol made one mistake though. Uh. After six months of not eating, Errol went to St. Vincent. And when he got to St. Vincent, the one person in your life that could always poison you mm. and you have no defense against her happens to be your mama. Mm. So when Errol went home to St. Vincent and his mother mm. was cooking the chicken and dumplings, mm. <laughs> and this rice and pea, and this fried plantain, Errol passed the kitchen. He swore up and down he would never submit to it. But as he passed, <laughs> and that stuff went by his nose, he stopped. He said, oh my God, am I going to submit to this thing just once? And he put the stuff in his mouth and he hit the bed. Four hours later, for six months. You don't cheat life. After he cleanses his intestines and you put that stuff in there, he's going to react violently. 